This session will cover visualization formatting. The formatting panel is a context sensitive panel that allows you to format your visualizations and its graphical features. This includes things like fonts, data point colors, plotting areas, legends, axes, titles, and more. There are three ways to access the formatting panel. You can expand the formatting panel from the workspace tabs, click format visual button from the components ribbon menu, or use the interactive and intuitive formatting selection tool. Let's use the ribbon button. The formatting panel opens up and displays the relevant options for the current visualization type. If you're working on a grid, grid options will be exposed. If you're working on a pie chart, formatting options for pie charts will be displayed, and so on. As the formatting panel adjusts to your visualization, it allows you to select each relevant and specific component for formatting. Most options have multiple tabs, which allows you to make adjustments to one or more visual features. For example, the y-axis of the column chart has multiple tabs to format axis labels and values, axis titles, the axis lines, and other miscellaneous y-axis settings. Using the feature drop-down, we can also see that in this visual, there are other items like the report title component where we can edit the title text and its font settings. Notice that for report title, there are no other tabs and options. Importantly, the format panel allows you to change what you want while seeing the impact of those adjustments on the visual at the same time. If we switched the visual to a matrix grid, the format panel and its options change accordingly. The feature drop-down now shows settings for columns, rows, and data instead of X and Y axes. If we select columns, the tab options are also different, again reflecting what is relevant to this visual. The column label tab provides formatting for the column sections of the grid, where I can change the font size, style, alignment, vertical alignment, and background colors. We can also change the background and basic font colors for each hierarchy added to the column section. And last, we can edit the way the column headers will look if we choose to show them. Since grids also have a report title like every visual, the report title feature is left intact from our previous edits on the column chart. To hide the report title completely, like other features, I simply uncheck the box to hide it in the visual. While working with the formatting panel allows me to intuitively make changes to my visual, it would be even easier if I could just point at the item I want to change and then adjust its settings from there. This is exactly how the Format Item Selection tool works. Once I click on the tool, it turns off the analytical functions of the cursor and it switches the application into formatting mode. Notice that the cursor itself changes. To turn this off, I simply need to click the normal cursor tool in the toolbox. With the formatting selector back on, as you highlight what you want to edit, it displays a light blue overlay, so you know what you're editing. For example, if I click on the y-axis in the column chart, the formatting panel pops out and again shows me all the format settings for the y-axis values. I don't need to find it in the feature list. Let's instead select the plot area. From here, let's change the plot area background color. We'll also add some grid lines to the axis, then change the color of the y-axis grid lines to blue and make them dotted. With certain visuals, depending on how it's been designed, the format tool will also allow you to edit the data points in the chart. For instance, let's click on the female columns in our chart using the format selector. Notice that it opens up color in the format panel. Within this feature, there's a second drop down allowing me to see or pick the different items that drive color in the visual itself. In this case, it's already showing me female since I clicked on the female data series in the chart. So now I can edit all the female data points. I'll change the full color to a red pattern. I'll then click on the border 
choose a custom color, yellow, and set its thickness to 1. Next, I can either click on the male data points using the format selector again to edit the male color items, or just pick it from the item drop down. Here I'll change the male colors to a gradient, then choose the two colors to be purple and green, moving the position of the trim points to adjust the effect. One last avenue to data point editing is via the legend, if it's visible. By right clicking on each series name in the legend and choosing format, the panel opens up to the relevant feature for me. The ability to edit data point settings extends beyond just colors. For example, in this simple line chart, I have a new option, shapes. First, I will enable shapes for the chart, which are completely off. By clicking the checkbox, while the drop down is set to default, it turns on the data point shapes for all data series. If I instead uncheck the box to remove them and then choose a specific series from the drop down, say females, I can now turn data point shapes on just for females. And then from here, I can customize the shapes for females as needed, changing the type, full color, and outline color and thickness. There are many settings and options for all visuals and for each specific visual. The formatting panel and selection tool makes finding and setting these numerous options easy and intuitive with point and click simplicity.